Good morning. Happy Thursday. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> back outside. Y'all, it is so, so nice out here this morning. It's actually, I mean, when I first walked out here this morning, it was a little on the chilly side. It still feels really good outside. Like, it is just a really nice, cool breeze. And, um, and just check out that sky, would you? I mean, so blue, so pretty. I'm just thanking the Lord for another beautiful, beautiful morning. So, I had to just, you know, set everything up right out here on my back porch again. Um, because it's just so nice. It's just too nice not to do it, right? <laughs> Anyways, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. We are in... Same devotional, guys, and we've done a lot in this devotion. Like, I, like we are, we are on the other half of this book. Um, we are actually on. There's 50 devotions in here, and we're on 37 today. So we are like getting through this book like nobody's business, which makes me kind of sad because I really like it. I want it to last a little longer. But uh, we are in Seeing Beautiful Again by Lisa Tukerst. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, I'm sure it's in Lifeway Christian Bookstore. Um, look it up. Get it. Man, get it for yourself. Or if you have already have it or you've been going through this with me and you don't want to buy it for yourself, um, get it for somebody else. Let it be a gift. Guys, this is be a great, great gift. Okay. So anyway, today our devotion is called The Daily Cure for a Heavy Heart. The Daily Cure for a Heavy Heart. And the key scripture is Matthew 6 and 9. And it's, it starts out, This then is how you should pray. Matthew 6, 9. This then is how you should pray. So if you're watching me live, give me hashtag 1. If you're watching the replay, give me hashtag 2. And we're going to get going here this morning. So she says, In the previous devotion, we talked about keeping our hearts swept clean for Jesus so he can... So, Sweat, blah, 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 blah. Let me rewind and start that over again. Okay. <laughs> In the previous devotion, we talked about keeping our hearts swept clean so Jesus can use us as an instrument of forgiveness to others. There we go. Said it. I want to show you one more passage of scripture today that teaches us how to really do this. How to really do this, right? In Matthew 6, we read Jesus teaching the disciples how to pray, how to pray, more commonly known as the Lord's Prayer. There's so much he could teach us to, to include in our daily prayers, right? I mean, if I were tasked with the job of teaching how to pray, I'm afraid I may have included all the wrong things and left out some really important things. And you know what I may have been tempted to minimize or exclude? The very parts Jesus seems to emphasize the most, confession and forgiveness. In Matthew 6, 9 through 13, Jesus taught, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And then in the next two verses, right after the Lord's Prayer, Jesus added, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. That's what it says. It's the Bible. It's His Word. That's verses 14 and 15. The importance of receiving and giving forgiveness makes up most of the prayer. If you look at the word count of this teaching of Jesus in the New International Version in the Bible, the total teaching is 94 words. The topic of giving and receiving forgiveness takes up 46 words of those words. Wow. This grabs my attention and makes me want to lean in a little more to what Jesus wants us to do on a daily basis besides just making our prayers about requesting help and provision from God, right? 
The Lord's Prayer reminds us what the human heart needs every day. We need God. We need to be forgiven, and we need to forgive, which means forgiveness is supposed to be as much a part of our daily lives as eating and sleeping. Wow, think about this, guys. It's so true. I love this. She says, but I will readily admit, I'm not even sure I, I've ever done this weekly, much less daily. And maybe that's the very reason I often have an unexplainable heavy feeling inside of me. We live in a day and time when being offended almost seems to go hand in hand with being alive. Almost everyone is epically offended by something. Almost everyone has relationship troubles. And I would guess almost none of us are truly praying daily with confession and forgiveness like Jesus taught us. I'll be the first in line to raise my hand and admit this is me. I'm too easily offended. I'm too slow to turn to prayer. I'm very rarely confessing and I'm too often not forgiving. But I want to change this. Who else wants to change this, right? I want to mature in this. And remember, feeling angry is different from living angry. Feeling offended is different from living offended. Feeling skeptical is different from living skeptical. Feeling wronged is different from living wronged. Feeling resentment is different from living resentful. Jesus knew we'd have all these feelings, especially when there's so much unpredictability in our circumstances, our relationships, and even our own emotions. So Jesus gives us a prayer to pray each day that helps us get ahead of all we'll face today with confession and forgiveness. I know I won't do this perfectly, but that doesn't mean I don't, do, I don't try it at all, right? Just a few weeks ago, someone I've been trying to help completely blindsided me with a reaction that felt extremely out of character and honestly undeserved. I was hurt. All I wanted to do was pull back from helping and give way to a full unleashing of my hurt on her. I could feel bitterness rising up. But instead of immediately reacting, I remembered how earlier that morning I had prayed the Lord's Prayer and confessed several things to the Lord in which my own heart needed some work. I'd pre-decided to forgive those who might do or say something that might hurt me or stir up my strong emotion that day. Instead of letting my anger stir me to cause more hurt and pain, I simply let my anger inform me that something needed to be settled between my friend and me. I asked her if she could uh, come over to my house and instead of us trying to figure it out or talk it out, maybe we could pray it through together. Confession breaks the cycle of chaos in me. Forgiveness breaks the cycle of chaos between us. Man, isn't that good? Let me say that again. Confession breaks the cycle of chaos in me. Forgiveness breaks the cycle of chaos between us. I let the Jesus in me talk to the Jesus in her. I let the Jesus in her talk to the Jesus in me. As we prayed, the most unexplainable peace washed over us both. It didn't necessarily solve the issue at hand, but it did prevent the chaos of adding in more hurt, more confusion, and more opportunities for resentment. The Lord's Prayer prepared my heart for something I didn't even know was coming later that day. The best time to forgive is before we are ever offended. The next best time to forgive is right now right now and then she prays jesus thank you for teaching me how to pray not necessarily the prayer i need i want to pray sometimes but the prayer i need to pray help me remember today that confession and forgiveness are good for my heart that they help lessen the chaos and lift the heaviness i sometimes feel deep inside in jesus name amen amen Guys, that's so good today. Such a good devotion. I've never really even looked, and I've said the Lord's Prayer a million times. I, that was one of the prayers that I used to say with Macy all the time when she was uh, a toddler. Um, our nighttime prayer, we would quote, she would quote the Lord's Prayer, I mean, every single night, guys. But I've never really looked at it in that aspect. Um, that man, that forgiveness should be a daily thing, and it's right there. We said it. We, a lot of us know the Lord's Prayer by heart. Um, and we don't really think about it. It's just memorizing, right? 
It's just something we just we memorize it, but we don't really ponder it in our heart, really, and really think about the words and slow down and think about what they're saying. But man, to forgive daily. This is what we should be praying daily. God, forgive me. How many times do we say that? God, forgive me. But we don't say it as much as, Lord, help me to forgive others. Help me to forgive today. Forgive and not be not carry around offense and not be so easily offended by every little thing. But God, help me just to forgive, to let things go, right? To love and not hold it, not hold grudges, not hold things against people, right? Man, something to think about today, something to think about, to pray about, ask God to help us with that today. Y'all have, <laughs> that's it for today. Y'all have a wonderful Thursday. Enjoy this beautiful day. Oh, enjoy it. It's so beautiful outside, so get outside. Um, but y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see, well, I don't know if I'm going to see you tomorrow or my mom. Not really sure yet. I have to talk to her and see, but you'll see one of us <laughs> tomorrow on the EMJ Daily. Bye, guys.